You know how with style, there are a few very basic things you can do that will enhance any look, like making sure your clothes fit? Well, when it comes to the seemingly complicated craft of interior design, the same thing holds true. There are a handful of simple things that you can do that will enhance the look of any space. These tricks work for a 5,000 square foot house or a small studio apartment like this one. In this video, I'm gonna show you seven things that you can do to make your bedroom feel more personalized, comfortable, and intentional. Before we get into it, huge thank you to The Home Depot for sponsoring this video. If your childhood was anything like mine, The Home Depot might remind you of Saturday morning trips with your dad to go pick up some two-stroke fuel for the weed whacker or a very specific piece of lumber. And so you might be surprised that these days the Home Depot has an online store that features a huge collection of furniture, decor, kitchen appliances, bedding, and pretty much anything else that you could need or want for your house or apartment. I was definitely surprised in a good way by this selection. And I think that whether you like more contemporary on-trend designs or more classic pieces, they're gonna have something for you. The Home Depot has lots of exclusive brands and collections. For example, their Stylewell brand nails the contemporary aesthetic, while their Home Decorators collection is more mature and refined. No matter what style you prefer, you'll get access to the everyday low prices that you've probably come to expect from Home Depot. You'll also get free and flexible delivery and easy returns. My favorite part about the Home Depot online store is that it is truly a one-stop shop. Living in a big city and not owning a car, I don't really have the option to drive to a store and haul a bunch of big furniture back to my place. So the fact that I can get everything I need online from bedding to furniture and kitchenware all shipped to my door is really convenient. So if you haven't checked out the Home Depot in a while and you wanna see what I'm talking about, head over to homedepot.com slash decor to shop now. And by the way, almost everything that you see in my bedroom is from the Home Depot and I'll link to each piece down below in the description. Thanks one more time to the Home Depot for helping me upgrade my bedroom and for sponsoring this video. All right, let's talk about seven easy upgrades for your bedroom. Number one, better bedding. The easiest way to give your bedroom a new look is by changing the bedding. I personally stick with solid colors or subtle patterns, and I prefer mostly neutral tones. I also try to avoid super thick comforters because they're usually too hot for me and they create a more bulky look. So if you also run hot, try a thin cotton bedspread or quilt instead of a down comforter and duvet cover. Trust me, it's a lot better even in the wintertime. Now you can't go wrong with the dark sheets and a light top cover. The contrast looks really cool, especially if you fold the top sheet over the quilt when you make your bed. And speaking of making your bed, take a few minutes, watch a few YouTube videos and learn how to do it the right way because these little details like knowing how to make hospital corners will make your bed look so much better. Number two, wall art. Sure, it would be great to have an original oil painting hanging above your bed, maybe something you commissioned from a local artist and paid thousands of dollars for, maybe someday. But luckily, there are much easier and much more affordable solutions. Here's an easy one, a gallery. You know, one framed picture is okay, but if you have a row or a grid, now we're talking. This is a super affordable way to add some style to your bedroom, especially right above the bed. Buy a matching set of frames and then just print the pictures out yourself or go have them printed at a print shop to save some cash. And the only important thing here is that the images share some common theme, like maybe they're all historic or they're all black and white or they're all abstract. If you're not sure what to choose, go to a website like Unsplash that lets you download free high-res photos and browse the archives until you find something that catches your eye. You know, I've always liked this sort of minimal architectural photography, so I found four pictures that I think look cool together and I put them in these gold frames. And the cool part is you can always swap these out for something else, so it's not permanent. Quick tip here, most people hang artwork and photos too high on the wall, so you want to have it so the middle of the frame or the middle of the gallery in this case is right at eye level, and this goes for your TVs as well. This is what they do in actual art galleries and museums, and this is definitely how you should do it at home. Upgrade number three, a furniture collection. Now, I'm not saying you should go out and get a nine piece matching bedroom furniture set, unless you have a giant room and you wanna do that, that's fine. I'm talking about having at least two pieces that are in the same collection and that are made with the same design elements. Even if you only have room for a couple of pieces, like a small chest of drawers and a nightstand, if you buy them from the same collection, it's gonna pull the room together. Pieces from the same collection feature the same colors and the same design elements. In this case, the nightstand and chest are both light gray, and they both have these splayed wooden legs, which is a cool mid-century modern detail. 
detail. This matching set totally makes me look like I know what I'm doing and it'll do the same for you, so give it a try. And a quick tip, Try not to push any of your furniture right up against the wall or right up against each other. Give your furniture some room to breathe, and if you have room for it, make sure that you can walk on either side of your bed. This looks better, and it makes making the bed a lot easier. Upgrade number four, a pop of color. Just like with fashion, I recommend using mostly neutral colors as your foundation and then accenting your space with some pops of color. Of course, you don't have to do this. You can go crazy with color if you want to, and that can also be a cool look, but using a mostly neutral base and then kind of sprinkling in color is a tried and true technique. For example, one easy way to add a pop of color is with throw pillows or accent pillows. These are most effective when they're placed on top of a neutral bed set, and especially when they pick up other colors in the room. In this case, the teal of the pillow and the blue in the one photo look really cool together. Plus, throw pillows are a very affordable way to let your guests know that you are in fact an adult and you definitely have your act together. Upgrade number five, mood lighting. Even though recessed overhead lighting is kind of the default for most rooms, including bedrooms, it's actually a not very flattering type of light. This type of lighting really isn't great for mood, especially in the bedroom. Instead, you wanna use accent lighting. At a minimum, I recommend a small bedside lamp that you can use for reading and that you can reach from your bed. If you really wanna step things up, add an LED light with Wi-Fi built in. Not only can these be turned on and off with your phone, but the color and intensity can be changed too. This particular Wi-Fi light can even be set to mimic like a fireplace or a candle, which is really cool. You can also get an LED strip light and mount it behind the headboard for some nice ambient light. And this one was super easy to mount. You just peel the tape off the back and stick it to the back of the headboard, plug it right into a regular outlet, and it just adds this bit of glow behind the bed, which looks really cool, especially if the room is dark. When in doubt, go with warm tungsten accent lighting. Don't go with like a bright daylight color. Upgrade number six is smarter storage. Now this one is really just for people like me who live in a small apartment and who don't have a ton of extra storage space. Get a bed that's at least eight inches off the ground and then use that space under the bed for storage. I use these shallow storage bins to keep my off-season clothing along with extra bedding and towels that are only used when guests come over. And storing the stuff beneath the bed just helps keep it organized, it helps keep it protected from moths, and best of all, it keeps it out of sight. These bins that I'm using are actually very short, so I can stack two on top of each other under this 12-inch bed frame. They're also translucent, which makes it very easy to see what's inside without opening them up. Okay, and last but definitely not least, upgrade number seven, plants. This is probably the easiest way to upgrade any room. Just add a plant. Add three plants. When in doubt, go with succulents, snake plants, aloe, or vines. These are all very hard to kill, even if you don't have much light. Then again, I'm no green thumb, so do your research. But regardless of what type of plant you get, make sure to get a nice planter. Don't just use the plastic pots that the plant comes in. One easy method is to get a long rectangular planter and then put a couple of small succulents inside. You can also get a vase and keep fresh flowers in it, which is a very sophisticated move for men or women. When I go into somebody's place and they have fresh flowers, I am always very impressed. But if you prefer a lower maintenance approach, go with dried plants or even faux plants. So in conclusion, these are seven easy ways that you can upgrade your bedroom. And you can apply a lot of these things to any room like accent colors and accent lighting. And of course you can customize these to fit your taste. So, you know, I kind of like the more minimal aesthetic, but if you like a rugged or industrial look, you can still Still use these same tips and just kind of tweak the details. And the cool thing is no matter how big your place is or what city you live in or how much you pay in rent, these same techniques will work. So I'd love to hear from you. What's one thing that you did recently to upgrade your bedroom or really any room in your house? Let me know down in the comments section. Again, huge thank you to The Home Depot for sponsoring this video. Links to everything can be found down below in the description. Thank you as always for watching and until next time, stay stylish.